God is perfecting you. Now, I know you may be thinking that you have your flaws and imperfections, but God already knew that. And God still chose you. And when you make Jesus Christ your Lord and Savior, it's called being born again. But it's not a natural birth. It's a spiritual birth. And once that happens, God begins perfecting you. It may be subtle, but God begins to start taking away your desires that do not please him and start giving you his desires. Certain things that you used to do or say, you don't want to do those things or say those things anymore. God begins to change you. God begins to mold you because God has a plan for your life and God is getting you in position. Come on now. God is getting you in position so that he can continue to take you from faith to faith and from glory to glory. One thing is for sure is that God will not let you stay the same. God's plan is to take you from faith to faith and from glory to glory. God may even cut down on you wasting your time. Have your time to be more fruitful where you can grow into a deeper, or closer relationship with him, that you can be more sensitive to his voice. God is perfecting you because the work that God has begun in you, he is faithful to see it through to completion. So even if sometimes you feel frustrated, even if sometimes you feel like giving up, guess what? God ain't gave up. God's not giving up because the work that God has begun in you, he is faithful to see it through to completion. And as you grow in your faith walk, in your walk with God, through prayer, through reading the word, through praise and worship, through fasting, whatever the case may be, understand that you're growing, you're growing spiritually through listening, through teachings, things of that nature. You're growing spiritually and you may not even realize it until you get around some people that you used to hang out with and you can see the difference that things you used to have in common with them, you do not have in common with them anymore. Or they might not invite you to things like they used to. Or sometimes God will take you through a season of isolation where he's cutting you off from distractions, where he's cutting you off from other people because he's bringing you into a closer, deeper relationship with him because he has a plan for your life. And he's teaching you how to be more sensitive to the leading of the Holy Spirit or how to hear his voice. Come on now. So understand this. That as you grow, as you grow spiritually, understand that there are some people that will not like your growth. There are some people that want to see you stay in the same place. You know why? Because they're not growing. They're not growing. And because they're not growing, they, they don't want to see you grow either. But guess what? Sometimes God will cut those people away. They'll fall off. Because the work that God has begun in you, he is faithful to see it through to completion. Or sometimes you just have to say, hey, if you don't appreciate my presence, then you deserve my absence. Because ultimately, the most important relationship in my life is my relationship with God. Sometimes you just have to take that stance. Sometimes you just have to take that stance. If people can't be happy for what God is doing in your life or they don't want to see you grow or they're trying to make fun of you or they're talking behind your back, guess what? God will expose it. God will expose it and he will show you who they really are. Because God is the potter and you are the clay. God is molding you. God is perfecting you. Like I said before, even if sometimes you feel frustrated, you feel like giving up, God's not giving up. God will send an on-time word. God will even 
sometimes God will bring a stranger to get a word to you if it's necessary. Whatever God has to do to keep you on the right track, to keep you moving forward, because God knows the plans that he has for your life are plans for good, to prosper you and bring you to an expected end. Beloved, I wish above all things that you would prosper and be in health even as your soul prospers. God has a plan for your life. Come on now. The, the Bible says to trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not unto your own understanding. Acknowledge him. Acknowledge him in all your ways and he shall direct your path. Come on now. Come on now, let the word of God be a lamp unto your feet and a light unto your path. God is perfecting you. Come on now. He's perfecting you. So just be sensitive, be obedient to what God is telling you to do. Sometimes at first, some things may not make sense because sometimes God will come after some things that's taking up your time or sometimes God will cut you away from some people and you may have thought those people was cool, but guess what? God has a plan. God has a plan and understand that God is a very specific God. So if things are happening, they're happening for a reason. You may not understand the reason that they're happening. But in the future, it will be revealed to you. Even some things that seem like they are bad when they happen, God's going to have some good even come from those things because he's God. God does not waste anything. God does not waste anything. Sometimes things that you go through, sometimes things that you go through, one of the biggest reasons that you go through it is that you will have a testimony and guess what your testimony is going to break chains off of other people's lives because when you tell your testimony there's going to be some other people that's going through it at the same time and your testimony is going to give them hope your testimony is going to give them the faith to break some chains off of their lives also come on now but understand this that you're growing spiritually even if you do not realize it at the time, God is doing a great work in you and God will see it through to completion. Glory to his name. Well, that is the word that God dropped in my spirit for this video. As always, comment, like, and share. And until the next video, I just want to say, God bless you in Jesus name. Amen.